Hi everyone, today I'll bring you a project I'm particularly excited about. The Moon Colony by the European Space Agency. And yes, it's a real thing. Since 2004, ESA has been working on putting a permanent residence on the Moon. For now, everything is theoretical, but things might change soon, as ESA's new director said a few months ago in an interview to the BBC. Johann Dietrich Werner was quoted saying, we should look to a future behind the International Space Station. We should look for a smaller aircraft in low Earth orbit for microgravity research, and I propose a moon village on the far side of the moon. He followed up by explaining how such a project can be a stepping stone to sending manned missions to Mars. But even before that, early 2013, the ESA ran simulations to test the feasibility of a base partly 3D printed on the South Pole. My mission is inspired by these tests and concepts, as I imagine they would be used on any mission involving creating a lunar base. The only difference being that our moon is not tidal in KSP, so I cannot put my colony on the far side, and if you've ever visited the poles in KSP, you know why I won't go there. Anyways, our mission will be launched using a Vega rocket instead of an Ion, mainly because the models for ESA rockets that I found are designed for real solar system and the Ion would have been way overpowered. Even the Vega is a little overpowered, but I took away one stage and adjusted the first limiter and amount of fuel in the two first stages. Our rocket is supposed to carry two 3D printers robots and a first inflatable dome to the far side of the moon. I chose to go to one of the moon arches instead, again because we are not tidal. Once we land our first mission, a mechanical system will unload our two robots and the dome to inflate. I did not need two robots, and to tell the truth, I'll only need this one later on. The robots are supposed to gather moon dust to mix with a compound and create a protective shell around the inflated dome. The shell itself will protect the dome and its occupants against temperature changes, radiations, small meteorites, everything our dear atmosphere does here on Earth. To tell you the truth, it was hard to operate my robot, so I ended up cheating and used a reaction wheel I added to the dome's airlock. This way I could position it easily where I wanted, without the hassle of operating the robot. Once the dome is inflated, the robot is supposed to shell it with a mix of compound and moon dust, but there is no way to do so in KSP, so we'll just say I did it. I do wish there was a robotic arm to operate Kerbal Attachment Systems tools, so I could fix it down to the ground. Still, I'm pretty happy with my robot. It kind of looks the part compared to the real one, thanks to a plethora of mods that I listed in the video description as usual. You probably guessed it by the way, but I used the Kerbal Inventory Systems container where 3D printer material should be. Once the initial construction is done, about 3 months later, it is time to send more stuff. Stuff including people, and more domes and, well, the documentation I got only went so far, so I went a little freestyle on this part. I used a picture of a 4 dome installation and took our beloved Kerbal on a trip to settle camp on the moon. The construction took quite a long time, that is why I fast forward through it and will even cut a big chunk out of it. I had to put the domes in place, inflate them, link them, put solar panels... Well, I won't teach you how to build a base. Our end result is pretty neat, I think, and it's also pretty close to what I found on the websites and video describing the project. It can house a few kerbals on a permanent basis, and there is even a lab to run experiments. By living there for extended periods of time, astronauts could get a sense of what a long-term mission away from Earth would be like. Say, Mars, for instance. The ESA and NASA would have to work using similar conditions too. The Moon is obviously closer than Mars, but it is still further away than the ISS, which is currently the best we have. All of these arguments make for a compelling case for a village on the Moon, and with ESA's director's new support, it might just really come to life. It was Crazy Kerman trying crazy technologies for you, don't forget to subscribe for more and have a nice day in space!